Hey everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am beyond excited that you are joining me on McCarthy Math 155. You know what? You are the reason that I am here. My mission is to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. But you know what? You play a role in this too. Your job is to make sure that you are plugged in into every single lesson. So come on, let's go ahead and jump right into the Mathematical Mindset Creed to get our minds right. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible and it's always possible to work it out. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. We are ready to learn. Alrighty then, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Hello everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the third grade edition and today we are on day 107 where we are modeling fractions on a number line. Today we have mixed numbers and fractions greater than one. So for number one, we have a mixed number. Two is the whole number and one third represents the fraction. Now, for the numerator, I wrote a little note to plot the point. You're, we are going to plot the point at this numerator, two and one third. That's where our point is gonna go is on the one for the one third. Now the three is where students tend to get a little tripped up. The three represents the jumps between each hole. Okay, go ahead and press pause to record these notes on your paper and press play when you're ready to continue. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and read it. So read this mixed number with me. We have two and one third. Let's write it. Two and one third. Okay, now comes to the part where a lot of students understand how to model a fraction when it's less than one, but they get a little confused when it's greater than one. So make sure that you are focusing like a champ today, okay? So we're gonna start over here, and this is going to be our zero. And how many jumps do we have between each hole? Three, right? So one, two, three, that would be one. That's three jumps between the whole number, so now we're at one hole. And one, two, three, two holes. But we need to be one more after that. So one, two, three, three holes. So we need to go all the way to two, the whole number two, so right there. Here's the whole number two and we're gonna go one third more. So we're gonna jump one more time, boom, right there. And we can label this as two and one third. This is two and two thirds. And then we have three, or two and three thirds, which would just be three. Because three thirds is really like one and two plus one equals three. All right, so that's where we plot the point, right there. And then I'm just gonna do a nice little shade until we get to that point. So I can see the amount that we had to jump, okay? So it's right there, two and one third. And go ahead and get this down on your paper and then let's check out number two when you're ready to go. All right, welcome back to number two. Now for number two, we have the fraction nine sixths. We know nine sixths. Such a hard denominator for me to say. We know nine sixths is a fraction greater than one because the numerator is greater than the denominator, right? So we're gonna go ahead and read it. We have nine, we read that number regularly, and then we read this one like the grade level. Sixth grade, but plural because there's more than one. So check your spelling. Now let's go ahead and draw this on a number line. So the six represents the jumps between each hole. That's important. 
the jumps between each hole. So here we're starting at the hole number zero. There's no fraction involved, it's just a hole number zero. And we need six jumps until we get to one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna make this a little bit more bold. On that sixth jump, we are at one. But we need to keep going a little bit more, all right? So let's go another hole. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I'm gonna start right here. We don't count until we make that jump. And jump one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the whole number two. Okay. So now we can go ahead and try to plot this point. Now we might need to extend this a little bit more, but let's see where we're at. So nine sixths, now nine sixths. Unlike number one, we don't have a whole number before in this fraction to let us know which number it's between. So we have to kind of go back and just start counting. So this would be zero, sixths, one, sixth, two, sixths, three, sixths, four, six, five, six, and six, six. Now you might wanna watch what I'm doing before you draw this, okay? You'll get a minute to pause the video and draw that, but just watch for right now. After six, six comes what? Seven, six, eight, and nine, six. There we go right there. I'm gonna continue all the way to this two, just because I can, but this is where we need to stop and plot the point. So right at nine, six, we're gonna plot that point and finally shade in the amount that we traveled to get there. Just like that. All right, now I know you have a lot of catching up to do, so go ahead and pause the video. Make sure you're counting six hops between each hole, six jumps between each hole, and then go ahead and try number three on your own and come back to check your work. All right, everybody, welcome back to number three. We have the fraction right here, the mixed number two and one eighth. Let's write it down. So check your spelling, two and one eighth. Make sure eighth has a TH on the end. And because we have a denominator of eight, that's how many jumps are between each hole, right? So let's start right here. Our starting point is zero, and we need eight jumps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On that eighth jump right there, this would be the whole number one. But we need to get to the whole number two and actually go a little bit further, right? So another eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On that eighth jump, we have the whole number two. And we need to go even further. So I'm gonna do eight more jumps and try to get to three. If you kind of ran out of space, that's okay. But this two and one eighth would be right there. We'll get to that in just a second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be three. I kind of was running out of room, but the important point is that we plot our point at two and one more jump, one eighth. Two and one eighth. So shade this, all right? And I want you to really look closely at mine and really look closely at yours. Make sure that you have eight jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, between each hole and make sure you don't start counting until you leave that whole number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two holes, okay? So this right here would be two, and one eighth. Awesome! Okay, make any corrections that you need to make and then try the last one, number four, on your own and come back to check your work. 
Number four, we have our fraction greater than one, and we know that because the numerator is greater than the denominator. We would read it as five fourths. Check your spelling, five fourths. So check your spelling there and then join me at your number line model. So when we're going to plot a point, we need to start with what? Zero. And how do we know how many jumps are between each hole? What do we look at? The numerator or the denominator, which is four. So there's four jumps. Here we go. We don't start counting until we make the jump. One, two, three, four. That would be one hole. One, two, three, four. That would be two holes. And I might be able to stop there. Let me see. So with this one, I don't have a whole number to look at. It's just a fraction greater than one. So I'm going to start here with zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths. That's where I needed it to be. And I'm going to keep going six fourths, seven Oops, I almost wrote eighths, seven fourths and eight fourths, which is kind of like eight divided by four, which does equal two. And now what do I need to do? Plot the point at five fourths, which is right here. And finally, my last step is to bold it in. Yep, just shade in the distance that we've gone. I can go the distance. Okay, so go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make for this problem. Jot down any notes that you need to in your notes for growth section. And then let's move on to our time problem for today. You know what time it is. It's a moment in time. Okay, it seems like we have kind of a simple one today. The time is 12 o'clock. So we're going to start with the minute hand. It needs to be pointing directly at zero minutes, which would be pointing at what? Yes, the 12. Just like that, your long minute hand. And because we are still at the tippity top of the hour, we need to have our hour hand pointed directly at the 12 also. So I'm just gonna make a little bolder one. And it should look just like that, all right? So go ahead and get that down, y'all. And then that is it. I know it's kind of sad, but I'll see you next time on day 108. Gratitude and kindness I'm gonna change the world By using my, my gifts There's only one me And I was born for greatness My future's bright Because I know I'm going places